Hey, hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. A few minutes late. I needed to finish my dinner or you weren't going to have a very hangry stamping zoo on your hands tonight. <laughs> so of course, as you're coming in, please say hello. And one minute, please let me know where you are coming in from. If you are new, if you're not new, that's all right. Still just say hello. Whether you are live or on replay, I want to welcome you. I am Lisa Harden. My business is called The Stamping Zoo. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And one of the things that means is that I will be selling all of the products that I'll be showing you tonight and thousands more. <laughs> Which is a, Stampin' Up! is a beautiful paper crafting company with high quality products for stampers from the beginning to, beginning to the avid crafter and everything in between. So I'm very happy to have all of you tonight join me for some crafting, some stamping and chatting is what I normally call it, right? And I'll give you some updates on the Stamping Zoo and on Stamping Up and all sorts of free products that you can earn with your purchases is still going on in what the company calls Celebration. We'll talk a little bit about that. I have a couple of pieces of beautiful, happy mail to share with you and um, just lots of fun stuff. So let's see here. It's February 9th. And as you are coming on, oh gosh, you're already reminding me something that I always remind you of, which is if you would be so kind, whether you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, if you would please share this to your social media sites, I would appreciate that so much. Uh, please just share, as I said, and then write share in the comments. And if you share, I share. And that means that next week when I go live, your name will be in a drawing to win something fun, some Stampin' Up! product, of course. This week, I'm going to be giving away the Sweet Cherries stamp set. I'll go grab it in a minute. But somebody, don't remind or don't forget to remind me that I am ready for the drawing at the end of this. Okay, so I have several of you, I don't think quite 20. I don't think I had quite 20 shares last time, but I did have some more shares on YouTube. So thank you so much for that. I see you out there. Even though I'm not live on YouTube, I still see you. I thank you so much for your comments, questions, and just for viewing and hoping, hopefully having a good time. Now, there were a couple of things on last week's video that I just happened to see. Uh, there were a couple of questions that I just happened to see as I was gathering the names for the drawing. One was Elizabeth asked when the products would retire from the online exclusive. So last week I showed you the online exclusive. Uh, some, some of the product, just some of the products that are going to be released to us on March 1st. They're available now for demonstrators or as a starter kit. Um, we don't have a retirement date on those right now. We might know more on March 1st. Or they may just go on for a while. They may not have a definite retirement date. I'm just not sure. This is something new for us. So, you know, I don't know. Uh, when things sell out, they may or may not be refilled. Uh, I'm not privy to that information. So we'll just all see how it goes, right? I, my advice is always respecting all budgets. But if you like something you see, you should probably get it because products are very popular <laughs> with the rare exception. And there are some things that have come off of the uh, back order list or the no inventory list this week, which is really nice. We're gonna be playing with one of the great papers. So thank you so much, you guys. Everybody's coming on, saying hi, sharing. Thank you. Thumbs up to you. I appreciate it so much. So let's see here. The other question, Lori wanted to know, this was one of the dyes in the Irresistible Blooms. So this is the online product. This is the die set that we use to make the shaker. If you missed that, you can just go back and find it. I think it's only from five days ago. Let's see here. I need a take your pick tool. Lori asked me twice in the comments if I would please run this die, and I didn't even see it. Lori, sorry about that, but you know, I was looking down. So this is how it looks. It's very, it uh, looks like it will be very delicate, but I will tell you, I ran this in, now all I'm doing here is just peeling it out. 
I ran this in Sweet Sorbet and I read it through and read it back to me. And that was it. So everything, all the loose pieces really just fell out. Now I'm just trying to be careful when I actually pull it out of here. I want to get a few strands. Let's see. I want to get a few strands. Okay. And oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'll show it when I point the camera down, but look at this. Isn't it fun? This is really neat. And you might want to use our adhesive sheets. Yeah, I would think so. Look, it looks like a piece of ribbon, doesn't it? Well, that's not the best picture. <laughs> I might want to be a little more helpful with you. Oh, okay. I will have to show you when we face it down, but it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I think you could probably put a mini Stampin' Dimensional behind these bigger dots, but really, I don't know if it would, it's pretty delicate, like I said, um, but it came right out of the die. So I love this. Yeah, Lori, absolutely. Um, so that again, it's called Irresistible Blooms. That was this die. And it's just really interesting. I like it so much. And I did post a couple of the pictures of the cards we made. Hello, Julie, Deborah, Roz. Reminds you of the live oh, something that you used to hang in your doorway when you were younger. I'm not sure what you were typing there, Roz. <laughs> I think Roz is hitting the jungle juice tonight. Well, she is. Let's see. It's 913. She's retired. Go for it, Roz. <laughs> <laughs> more power to love bead she says oh, oh yeah Roz you know what I just went to um I got a facial last night and my um my the spa that I go to they opened a new brand new spa new building and everything and the relaxation room is two stories tall but just you sit on the ground floor, but it's two stories tall. Anyway, they had they had these long strands of metal beads. It's totally what reminded me, right? You didn't have to walk through them, but it was kind of used as well to make the space not look so large to look at more, make it look more inviting. Anyway, it's just funny that you mentioned love beads because that's what I was thinking of last night. So I guess they're coming back in style. Hello, Elizabeth and Karen. Very nice to see you, Karen. Coming in from Manitoba, probably a little chilly up there. Uh, Mary Lou, hello. Thank you for sharing. Jean says, hi, everybody. <laughs> and hello, Jill from Manaway. Doesn't look like Manaway at all, but I'll never forget the name. So after I think I called it Mantua, <laughs> it's a rookie mistake right? Okay. So like I said in the comments for this live, tonight's all about love. It's not all about romantic love. It's just all about love. And that's really what life's all about, isn't it? It all kind of boils down to that. I will try not to get too philosophical, but I am sure that just like me, you have a lot of people that you love in your life that you can shower with your cards. You can show them your love through your card making. Um, and it doesn't have to be about Valentine's Day, but it does happen to be right before Valentine's Day, which is why we're kind of doing double duty. I'm gonna be sending a lot of cards out for Valentine's Day and I still need some more. It is a card maker's curse, right? I'm making cards for everyone else and then I don't have enough cards for myself. So we're going to make just a few of them tonight. And that is going to help me kick off uh, my production line that I will have to have sometime this weekend because Tuesday's Valentine's Day, right? But more than that, I will just be sending out cards of love. And I hope you do the same because it is one of the really cool things that we can do with our crafting that uh, touches somebody else's heart. Okay. So please keep that in mind as you're looking at the products I'm using. They are all available. 
and you can purchase them at any time. I will show you the item numbers and things like that. But uh, I think that I just wanted to, you know, have a night about love cards tonight. Okay. So with that, let me bring in my desk and, oh gosh, I have nothing. <laughs> We're going to play with a lot with, well, several products. Lots of times I only play with like one bundle, but we're not going to do that tonight. I just kind of pulled some things. Uh, there was one, one viewer request. And so that's going to be in here. And then I just pulled a couple of other things that I like. Okay. First of all, let me show you though. Look at this beautiful card. Oh, I love it so much. She's colored this paper. This is from Holly Pablo. Holly's thanking me for uh, she won some embellishments a couple of weeks ago. And this was such a beautiful card to get in the mail. So I'm trying to show you all the cool details. Actually, let me, bring myself back on and make myself little. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so isn't this pretty? I know, Holly, stop it. It's so beautiful, lots of texture different colors, different, I think this is a punch. It's a two level punch. So anyway, thank you. You are very welcome for the embellishments. Thank you for viewing and playing along. And then this is from my friend, Anne. I love the carrots so much. So the carrots, I mean, look at them. <laughs> it's so cute. And she's used this awesome, uh, was it called gingham plaid or just plaid? I don't remember. It was just from last, uh, the holidays, from I think the July to December catalog. So speaking of catalogs, I do want to point out, as I said, it is celebration now. We have a couple more weeks of it, maybe two and a half weeks of it. So don't let it go by, you know, this is the short month. So don't let it go by without getting what you would like. There are tons of cool things in here. I do actually have, I have the Thanks a Bunch stamp set right here. This is free. Now, everything in this catalog is free with a purchase. So you can't just purchase these items. You have to purchase other things. And then after you purchase $50, you can start choosing free items from this catalog. There are products that are $50 free with a $50 purchase. And there are a couple of products that are free with a $100 purchase. Now, besides this celebration flyer, we do have about 10 items that were released uh, on the 1st, on the February 1st. And so make sure that as you're placing your order, you have other options, okay? Other great options, 3D folders. Uh, there are things from the annual catalog. And I think maybe a couple of things from the mini. Yeah, isn't it cute, Lori? I mean, it's carrots and you go, carrots, really? But think about all the things you can do with the carrots for spring. And yes, that rabbit punch has sold out, but maybe you have the rabbit punch. Then you need the thanks a bunch carrots. I mean, they just go together. As well as we still have the beautiful stamp set with the rabbits in it. And we have a lot of other stamp sets with spring. And the carrots just go with spring, right? And also, I mean, look at all the cool sentiments. They're not all about carrots. This one says everything's coming up carrots, which is cool. But I mean, they're all just really fun. And finally, uh, um, Anne has made these carrots in pumpkin pie. The carrots can be lots of different colors because there are rainbow packages of rainbow carrots that are sold in the store and sold as seeds. You know, they have purple, yellow, different colors of orange. So let's see, if I was just pulling some colors of carrots. I would tell you right now, crushed curry, pumpkin pie. That's kind of a giveaway. Um, I think Blackberry Bliss. I was toying with Rich Razzleberry, but I think Rich Razzleberry would be too bright. So you could do these as carrots, and then um, you could maybe like blend a little bit of green at the top because you know carrots at the top are kind of green. Or you could just go crazy with it and make rainbow carrots. So it doesn't have to be realistic, right? Because it's your art, whatever you want to do with it. So anyway, yeah, the thanks a bunch is just one that I happen to be sitting here. And then when I got this card, it is so cool. Yeah, Mary Merlot. Darcy says Mary Merlot. 
I think that would be a cool carrot color. Yeah, that's probably very realistic. So they're quite cool, carrots. Yeah, they're the cool vegetable. <laughs> so anyway, just keep that in mind. Like I said, that's just one of many. And as well as all, everything is going strong with the January to April mini catalog. Now remember, this is going to be a month shorter than you're used to having a catalog. As the company is kind of changing the dates around just a little bit and syncing up things. So as they do that, some of the catalogs aren't going to run as long as you might expect them to. And once things start running, once things start running out, they may not be back. So um, as I said, there were there are things that are going in and out of inventory all the time with this catalog but there's plenty that's in. There are things that came back in this week. So, you know, I mean, I can't say enough good things about all the fun stuff. And one of the cool things about Celebration is they have really tried to coordinate a lot of the products in the flyer with products in this mini catalog. For example, this Dainty Flowers paper right here coordinates with a Dainty Delight bundle, and it tells you page 55. You might not be able to see that on the screen, but if we go over here to page 55, you will see the bundle that coordinates with this paper, okay? So keep an eye out for that in all of the, in the several pages here of beautiful stuff. Oh, this is my favorite, this paper with the black background. We've worked with it a couple of times and it has a coordinating stamp set that is also just delicious. It's called the Fragrant Flowers Bundle. So really the Fragrant Flowers Bundle is $48.50. You can purchase the stamp set and the dies and then get the paper for free. Add a little cardstock. And then you can make 72 cards <laughs> if you want. If you want to, you can make cards until you're sick of seeing that paper and then go on to something else. Okay. And finally, we have the annual catalog. It will be retiring also in April. Um, so please get the things you want out of this as well. And uh, if you don't have copies of this catalog, you can do a couple of things. You can either go over to the stampingzoo.com and over on the right hand side, you can look at electronic copies of all of these. And it will always have updated copies of the catalogs out there. Or if you live in the United States and you're not shopping with another demonstrator, you can simply message me. Give me your mailing address and ask me to send out catalogs. And I will be so happy to do that. You might even get a few cards in the deal. Okay, so who wants to start making some cards? Uh, let's see here. I don't know what I'm going to start with. Let me think this through. Let's start with this. Anne requested that I work with the gnomes, and I thought, perfect. It was sitting out because I wanted to make, again, some Valentines for it. Now, I've worked with the gnomes at least once before with you. We made some fun folds. This is one of the fun folds. And I mean, this little gal is very popular over on Pinterest. She's had several thousand views and she's had several thousand saves. <laughs> you never know. But if you uh, are on Pinterest, just know that if you're not right now, you can follow me there and keep, keep your favorites. I don't post every single card over on Pinterest. I simply don't have time. I'd love to. But anyway, um, if you are looking for that sort of thing, some inspiration, I'm over on Pinterest, okay? Just look for the Stamping Zoo. You'll find me. So we are going to make a card with the Friendly Gnomes. The stamp set is available. I will be giving you the item number just a little bit later. These dies are current, but not currently available. I think they're supposed to be coming in at the end uh, maybe the middle of March, actually. So it's going to be a while. But you know what? Don't freak out. Everybody just calm down. 
I'm going to tell you something revolutionary. You don't have to use the dies to have fun with a stamp set. Can you believe that? Oh, it's heresy. No, you can actually just play with the stamp set. Use existing dies that you have. You know, the gnomes will fit on circles and squares and ovals and all sorts of punches. Or if you want to get after it with the paper snips, fussy cut, right? These are good little scissors. And my friend Maria finds it very calming to, um, to fussy cut. So there are some options for you. It doesn't mean, like I said, it doesn't mean you don't use the friendly gnomes. No. Now, I may use die cuts tonight. It just depends on how this is going. Jean, you're a Pinterest fanatic. I love Pinterest too. I find it so helpful. So I'm over there, girl. But you're also a very avid viewer of mine. So you normally watch me. But if you want to keep keep the ideas in one place, you can certainly use that. Okay, we are going to use some of this beautiful gingham paper tonight. I forgot to pull the samples, but it's back in stock. You all know it. I think it's called Country Gingham. I'll show you exactly where it is in the catalog. Elizabeth loves Pinterest too. It's good. It's handy, isn't it? It's like ripping out, it's the equivalent to me of ripping out pages in a magazine. Um, except much more orderly. Okay, so the country gam is right here on page nine. It's back in stock. It's been out for a while. And it is, how much is it? $12. No biggie. $12 for 48 six by six sheets. So basically it has three or four different different patterns with, let's see, the colors are balmy blue, mint macaron, petal pink, and sweet sorbet. So a very nice grouping of colors, very springy, but you can mix them with more strong colors, I guess, and get a whole new look. Okay, so I've done a little bit of the cutting because as I said, we're going to be working with several different products and I didn't want to be shuffling back and forth. I'm using the stylish shapes uh, for this circle, but this is the die set that sits in the front of all of my other dies. I just, I keep grabbing it. I always grab it. It's, it's made to be a workhorse, right? I, I think it's back in stock or if it's not, it's going to be shortly, but it was also one thing that was out. So Kathy says she just made some birthday cards with the gnomes today. Well, you can give me some tips then, Kathy. <laughs> and Elizabeth also used them on her Valentine's Day card. Jean has almost, oh my gosh, Jean has almost 120,000 pins. <laughs> That's funny, Jean. I mean, I hope you go back and look at them. My goodness, you're probably. Well, I don't know. I was just going to say, there's probably some award for that, but I'm not so sure. I don't know. Um, I've seen some weird things on Pinterest before. I think that, not from you guys, you know what I mean? Um, okay, I was just going to tell you a story, but we'll just skip it. Okay. It's not paper craft related. And it's, <laughs> and Leslie says, that the stylish shapes sit at the front of her bin too. They're just, they're just good that way. Okay, so we're gonna start by uh, using a basic white thick card base. So we carry the cardstock basic white in thick and in regular. And why would you use one over the other or why would you use both when you could just use one? Well, you can do that, it's fine. You can do whatever you want but I like the thick for the card bases while I try to only use the regular weight for my layering, for my stamping, because I feel like my stamped images aren't, and my coloring doesn't come out as smoothly on thick. That's just my personal preference, okay? So we have both. And then I've also made a layer. Let's see, what was my layer? One stamping, one's for stamping and one's for layering. That can't be right. It's got to be this. 
No, I think what I did was I didn't quite get it cut. I wanted a four by five and a quarter layer. And I think I probably cut it four and then was on to the next thing. No worries. I can do this. So four by five and a quarter was what I was doing. You can put this, uh, you can put this designer series paper right onto the front of your card. But I like to do a layer for a couple of reasons. One is I just like layering as a design component. Uh, you will see that in my cards, right? But the other thing is it gives me a little bit of an out. Uh, should I make a mistake? <laughs> so if I make a mistake gluing this, these papers somehow, I still, I haven't ruined my card base. So yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm just going to put these strips of the balmy blue on the front of this card. And I've cut five. So see here are the different patterns. There's like three different plaid patterns. Okay, very cool, right? And then here's like different colors. So I'm just gonna stick with the blue. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, I don't want this up on my piercing mat right now. I get better traction with my stamp and seal if I don't have it on the piercing mat. Hello, Donna, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. Okay, hold it. I had just hold it, Lisa. I didn't mean hold it, you guys. You know, when you live alone, or maybe everyone does this, um, I talk to myself a lot. We have full on conversations. So just sometimes I have to reel myself back in, right? I'm just going to do this so that there's two of two of the ginghams. There's two each of two of the different ginghams. And then there's two, three, four, five. And then there are, then there's just one in the middle. And so I thought, well, I'm going to have a little bit of a pattern to this. And so I'm going to put them in here like this. Now, hopefully I'll have enough room for the big crescendo in the middle. But if not, that'll be a really cool place for us to um, put our stamping. Yeah. Okay. But that looks fun. It's supposed to look sort of random anyway. So this is good. Okay. And then there's the front of our card. That's fun, right? So if you can't choose the pattern, you don't have to choose the pattern. That's the point. Okay. And then I'm going to have one of our, one of our little gnomies up on the card and then we're going to layer it. And already it looks kind of cute. You could just put a sentiment on that and be done with it, but we are going to make our gnome because they're adorable. Now they are photopolymer, so that's why I'm putting my piercing mat down. I keep it in the plastic bag that it came in because I didn't keep it in the plastic bag. I didn't keep the first one in the plastic bag that I bought, and it has ink all over it. So if you did the same thing and didn't keep the plastic bag that it came in, then just go get a Ziploc bag, but pierce a hole in it so that you're not trying to force air, of it, air out of it all the time. Thank you, Jill. Isn't that a fun one? It is all different colors. And so I thought it would give with my nails today. All right. So I'm going to use this little guy. Actually, we used this one and this one the last time we got together. And worked with these. So now I'm going to use the little guy with the heart because we're working with love cards. And I'm going to use the love you. I love the little bird. Let's see. We'll have to see if we have room for the birdie. And maybe the bird will go inside. That's always fun. Okay. It's time for some blocks. So the photopolymer, if you've never stamped before, you simply just put your blocks onto the images and that's it. This one looks kind of dirty. Who would have put a stamp away without cleaning it? Certainly not me. 
Oh, but I sure did. Hello, Andrea. Thank you for sharing. Sorry, you're late. It's okay. It's all right. If you pay attention from here on out, then that's good. Darcy says she's not good at random. That's okay because it kind of had a pattern, right, Darcy? It was only sort of random. <laughs> I didn't place the strips straight because I didn't want to have to worry about making sure they were absolutely straight. Hello, Sherry, and thank you for sharing. So let's see here. I think let's just go for Memento Ink. We are going to do a little coloring with our blends. And you can use any of our classic inks. So you can use any of these ink pads with your blends or Memento. Stay away from stays on. Okay, the, those two don't play nicely. And this guy is, oh, he's so cute. He is so cute. Deborah is working on a Valentine's for a coworker's granddaughter. That sounds fun. Okay, now the love you, I'm just gonna put facing down this way because I wanna try and cut it as, uh, as a little strip. You know me, it must strips of paper. So I need to come down here and I'm probably gonna pull it towards me. I need to be up over the stamp and that's what I want you to do also. Okay, perfect. Now we're gonna color our Nomi. You don't have to. The way it is right here is perfect. Who wouldn't love that? Or maybe you could put like glitter in the heart. I mean, there's a million things you could do, but I'm going to color it with Sweet Sorbet, and I'm going to color it with Balmy Blue, and what else will he need? He'll need a little gray for his beard. Uh, no, not black. He'll need maybe Smoky Slate. Okay, and then his outfit... His hat's going to be balmy blue and maybe his pants on shirt also. And his boots can just be like, uh, his boots might be brown, but we'll do the beard first. Okay. And then we'll figure it out. What happens if you use stays on and blends? Well, well, what I experienced was that my marker picked up the black from the stays on. And then this, this marker um, is kind of ruined because then it wants to color black off and on. So that's what happened. It, but I mean, I think chemically they react somehow because you're coloring with an alcohol and then stays on is water. And so they just don't play nicely. I know. And Andy. I don't know if you have the stamp set, but she's available. And isn't it so cute? Okay, and there was another stamp set in the December catalog, and I it was called some other gnome thing. But the dies work with both, okay? So I will have the other stamp set in my retired BOGO sale later on when the catalog, when the new annual catalog comes out. I will be having a two-day retreat called the second annual Spring Fever Fest. So just be watching for that. It will be in beautiful Boise, Idaho. You guys can come and join me if you don't live here. And if you live here, easy. I know he does look like he's wearing a onesie. Aren't they kind of back in style? A cat suit for a gnome? I don't know about that, but I think they're back in style. Not in this household. Not for me. Are you kidding? I know. Mm -mm. Not happening. I don't think it would be flattering on me. I also, I just, I don't like the logistics of it. It doesn't sound like I could get like in and out of it easily. I've been wearing loungewear too long. I know he's so cute. Okay. So let's see here. I've got the dark balmy blue. Okay. I am going to come around the outside of his little slouchy hat kind of maybe just one side how about just one side 
because we're kind of going to use the blends like they're meant to do. Blend and shade. Okay, so now I'm going to take the light. Andy was so mean to me today, you guys. She wanted me to skip work and craft with her. And so I had it on my mind the whole time I was working. It was really cruel. <laughs> but one day I'm going to do that, Andy. And um, we're going to have so much fun. Okay. And finally, just coming up here. You don't want to scribble, scribble, scribble all over this thing because these lines are pretty fine, right? And blends are meant to blend and they blend out. And so uh, you need to watch that a little bit. Andrea says she bought a jumpsuit thing for the summertime. Oh, see? Okay, Andrea, that's what I'm saying. If you, you know, get busy and then need to run to the restroom, you got to be pretty flexible and pretty fast. I don't want to have an issue. I, I have enough issues. I don't need an issue with that. Okay, I'm going to come around this like one more time to give it a little bit darker, right? We're pretending that the light is coming in from this way. And so since this is kind of curved and it's away from the light, it is going to be darker. And on those same lines, we'll do the same thing over here with this guy. Now, are they wearing gloves or are these are what their hands look like? I don't know. I'm guessing they have regular hands. Because if they didn't, how would they be able to hold all this stuff with mittens? No. These are things that keep me up at night. You guys can tell me in the comments if you know. Do gnomes have fingers or just mittens? Okay, we are going to continue, excuse me, with his onesie. Got a little arm coming out right here. It's a mitten. And then he has a little bit of showing a little leg right down there. Okay. And then let's do a little bit of stuff on his beard. Now I'm not going to make his beard gray. But if you don't color his beard, it's going to look like something's missing because everything else is going to have some color. So all we're really going to do is we're going to come in here with this. This is light, smoky slate. Okay. And I'm just going to go over the lines that the artist has given, given me because they're very nice that way. And then while, before too much time passes, I'm going to bring in the clear color lifter and I'm going to blend it out a little bit. Now I am just kind of pouncing my marker. I'm not dragging the marker. I'm really just laying down the solution. I want this to lighten and I want it to blend out a little bit. See, Sherry says she's never seen one with fingers. I know, right? I think it might look a little creepy. Think about it. If they have like five fingers, well, 10 fingers, you know what I mean? <laughs> it would be a little weird. Okay, let's color this heart. Again, I am going to color on the right hand side dark. Now, you see me looking at these back and forth. It's because there are two points on this there's a bullet point, maybe. There's a bullet point with this thick line and the bullet brush, or this is a paintbrush, and I'm sorry. And then there's a bullet point with the thin line. So that's what I'm always looking for when I'm turning these over. And okay, so I'm going to bring some dark in here. Try not to color his beard. And then let's go over that with the light. And we may add a little more. Let's see how it blends. And then I'll tell you. So the other little technique I have is when I'm coloring up where the colors meet, lots of times I go in circles. Uh, this sure as I tell you that, then the next time I won't. But uh, I find intense satisfaction in coloring. 
You know how I told you Maria likes to paper snip? Well, I like to color. It's so relaxing to me. So let's see. Let's put a little more dark over on this side. And notice I'm not coloring up on that line because I want the color to stay inside the heart. Going good so far. It's kind of cute. Oh, we have all those natural colors too. So let's, just a minute here. Let me put these off to the side. They are organized so I can find them. And actually what I do is something a lot of people do, but I put a little um, indicator on the end. Let's see if it will. There we go. Light, smoky slate, and dark, smoky slate. Now there are other SS's, shaded spruce, things like that. But this at least gives you an idea if you're looking at a gray marker that that's not gray granite, it's actually smoky slate, okay? So, and all I did was I just put it into my pages, which is the word processor for Apple, and made a tiny font. And I cut it out, I punched it out with a half or a quarter inch circle punch. It's retired, but you can still find that online, I'm sure. And now we need one of our naturals. I think they're called, well, I think they're called naturals, right? There's 10 of them. When I first purchased them, or when we first had these available, they came with just a number. Now I believe they're sold as combo, a combo pack of two. And they're sold like light, natural, medium, natural, things like that. I kind of like the numbering system better. Uh, let's see. I am starting. Now I've got 900. So this is like the light. There's only one more color that's lighter than that. Let me look at. This was 600. Let me look at 700. 700. I don't think I'm going to like that with the color, with the color of a heart. Let's look at eight. And that's eight. Oh, okay. Eight almost got misplaced and it's wrong order. Kind of like eight. Just for the heck of it. We've got to color this big schnozzola here. <laughs> Andrea said she made 58 Valentines using the owl and she colored them all. And it was fun. I bet it was fun. It sounds fun. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks good. This looks good. It's a good, healthy skin tone. <laughs> okay, now, boots and mittens. What are we gonna do? I don't know that I wanna add another color, but I also don't wanna make them red. I think that would look, it's too much because it's hard. This heart he's holding is red. So let me try, let me bring in my favorite, um, soft suede. And we'll also try bronze. Okay, now bronze is just sold with ivory. So we have a bronze and an ivory. Those are the only two. Well, no, they aren't the only two, but those two are sold. They're not, they don't match a Stampin' Up! color that we have. Jean says gray boots. Let me bring that gray. Let me bring the dark smoky slate in and see how we like it. The smoke. Oh yeah. Now smoky slate has a little bit of blue in it anyway, right? So with all these blues, I wanted to bring that in. I didn't want to bring in Sahara sand because that's more of a brown gray. This one, I like it. You nailed it. Okay, I'm just gonna color these dark. So I'm not going to shade. And in these small spots, you will notice again, I'm just kind of pouncing the marker. I am not dragging it and laying down a bunch of ink. Go gingerly. When you can color, I just mean don't color like you're trying to hammer a nail in. If you have a light touch, great. If it's not so light, then go lightly. 
Okay, we're gonna get these size nines on here. He's a cute little guy. And so the gnome dies, I really recommend getting them also. Again, when they're available, they will be available. Um, oh, Kathy made a good point. She just colored the hands on the gnome's skin tone. Well, that gets back to the question. Are these mittens or are these hands? But that's okay. We don't have to. We're going to say they're mittens for this guy. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. Okay. I'm going to cut him out because you know what? I didn't wait until things were sold out. I snagged him. <laughs> I know that's kind of mean, huh? But you know, you'll learn. You will learn through pain, children. Okay. So again, a little of my, someone asked what this was. And Leslie in Australia also said, this is like $17 a roll. Leslie, can I send you some? It probably cost me more than that to send it to you, but if I come and visit, I will like fill a suitcase for you, okay? So I use this uh, not to hold down every die, but once I've just spent some time coloring something, I'm gonna color, I'm going to hold it down. Okay, I don't want to waste my time. And now I'm gonna get the mini out. I had that cut specifically so I could use the mini. And so please don't forget, you can get a mini during the joining special, which is going on again until the end of February, you can add a mini to your starter kit for $30 instead of $63. Oh, and you can get it in this beautiful white, or you can also get it in a brand new in color that's coming in the new catalog called Balmy, no, called Boho Blue. So please keep that in mind. That's available to you. I would love to have you on my team. We have so much fun on my team, I think. And um, oh, I mean, wait until you see this on the card. You're gonna flip your lid. Now that needs to be, now look, we're gonna do some work. We're gonna do some this old house repair right now. See this little foot came off there for some reason. Don't ask me why. Because I certainly haven't lost feet on the other things, but I'm just going to take a glue dot. <laughs> That's what they're good at. Maybe two. And I'm going to put this foot back on. So you can use your crafting supplies to fix your supplies. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Okay, there we go. Give it a little pressure. She's good for another 10,000 miles. All right. Now, Jean says the gnomes and the dyes were her first purchase from the fall catalog. That is, that's good. That's a good little crafter, Jean. You knew it was going to be popular. And let me just show you. There's all sorts of things. You can make an actual gnome, not stamped, but just like his own 3D pieces. They have grass. They have the nose all sorts of pieces to make mushrooms and a whole scene. Okay. So, uh, don't forget, look his tiny pants. I mean, get real this huge mushroom. So just keep that in mind. You, um, will get a lot of life out of this set because yeah, we're using it for Valentine's, but again, our theme is love, right? And love is not seasonal. It's an all occasion card. All right, let me get this move in here, but I don't want to lose this gnome die. Okay, with the mini. And let's bring our card base back in. Now we've got our pieces of cards, don't we? Oh, Lord, help me. I'm going to try and actually cut this. I don't think so. <laughs> Hello, Joan. Very nice to see you, Joan. Do you know Leslie? She lives in Australia, too. <laughs> that's a little joke. But you might. I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's a little Australia joke for you. Because, you know, Australia is kind of huge. Um, it's not like saying, like, do you know somebody from Emmett? Because chances are, 
I probably will know them or their relatives. Okay, this is good enough. All right, so I have trimmed our little love you. And of course, I'm going to do the Lisa Harden bias cut, patent pending on that. And then I want to, oh, let's see, where are the gnomes? Why do I keep looking behind me? They're not behind me. They're right over here. Okay, does this have any little hearts in it? Dang it. Well, we're going to use this flower. I've done this before and I thought it worked great. We're going to use this little flower. You know, I don't like just plain little die cut backgrounds. I got a thing about it. I don't know what it is. I mean, you know, get in line with all my other little things. My little idiosyncrasies. No, idiosyncrasies. <laughs> yes, it's a squirrel. I mean, look at it. <laughs> and then look at the bird. If you think the squirrel's cute, check out the little chickadee. They're adorable. Stamp it up. That's, of course, one of the lovely things about them is they don't cheap out on the stamp sets. They add all sorts of little imagery that we can use or extra sentiments and stuff. Okay. Where's our guy? And Okay, that's better. You could have also spritzed it with um, with the blends. That's another one of my favorite techniques. Yep, Elizabeth said she bought the punches on her first order. You were afraid they would sell out. Yeah, that's what I tell people if they ask for my advice is like, what kind of projects are you working on first? And is there something that you're going to be really, really sad if you can't have it for a while because it sells out? That's my advice for how to order. Let's have water in it. Ugh. I need an assistant. Now if I called Cash, he would come running in here. Tango would be like, I'm sleeping. Lady, I'm off duty. And you were never on duty, Tango. That's the deal. Okay. Little pieces and parts. Let's put some of them up on dimensionals because it's just fun to do that. Ooh, fresh package. See, and the other thing I didn't tell you when I was coloring with my blends, but you can see now, is don't color on your finished project. Don't put your blends and your project that you're coloring with your blends on top of your finished project because it could bleed through. So always color that on some grid paper or some sort of a scrap. Okay. All right. Let's take him and put him over here on the side of the circle. And then we are going to take this love you. And I think we should put it down like that, kind of behind his noggin. And just a little bit. Remember, you're not icing a cake. Okay, this isn't cream cheese frosting. This is just glue. So just go gentle into that good night. Okay, then this is going to be a little element of its own. And this... I can't put it down flat. I think I will because otherwise we're going to have like a, everything is going to be up on a layer, which is not a bad thing. What paper am I using? I am using the country gingham paper. It's in the very first suite in the mini catalog. And it is just recently come back into inventory. Get it while it's hot. more dimensionals because they're just so cute. Oh, 
Oh man, adorable. And I want to make sure I show off all the paper. And of course we need some jewelry. So one thing that also goes with this sweet, the country floral bouquet is uh, these the sequin combination here. It's balmy blue, petal pink, and gold. Look at that. And they're iridescent. But I like something. I whisper. Actually, some one thing I do to the dogs, <laughs> you know, it's me. Again, I live alone. So one thing I do to the dogs is sometimes in the morning, um, if I am going to let them G-O with me to go get uh, C-O-F-F-E-E, -E, because they know that word too. I will whisper it in one in one of their ears. So if Tango's up on the bed with me and I'm getting ready, I will whisper it in his ear and he will lose his mind. And then um, Cash wants to know. He thinks he knows, right? But then he's like, he doesn't quite know. But what I can do with Cashy is I can whisper it in Cashy's ear and then I can tell him to go tell Tango and he will run and go get Tango. Tango is all about Tango though. Tango doesn't go get Cash. Tango's like, what ups? Snooze you lose. <laughs> but I also think... Uh, I actually think Cash goes and gets Tango during those times of T-R-E-A-T -E and B and the C-A-R and all that because he needs reinforcement. He's like, look, everybody wants to go, Mom. And that, oh, I'm going to make a few of these cards. So I'm just going to vary the, um, now that I have like the prototype, I'm going to vary the gingham, right? I had three or four different colors of the gingham. So I'm just going to vary the gingham and then I'll vary what he's wearing. And all the colors are going to go with the sweet sorbet. So adorable. Okay. That one's for Anne. Anne loves the friendly gnomes and she wanted to see those tonight. So I was so happy to oblige. Okay. And let me put these off to the side so I don't get too confused because you know I don't need much help. Now we have, I'll tell you right now, we're going to run a tad late tonight. So just hang with me. You can do it. Now what was going to be on this card? Uh, not that, no, not that one. This one? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The best butterflies. What about the best butterflies? I love it because it says all the love. And it actually, I'm part of an Insta hop. That means a, that means a blog hop on Instagram though. Um, I'm part of an Insta hop that's going live tomorrow morning. So this is not the card because that card's exclusive to the Insta hop, but this is inspired by my Insta hop card. So you watching and hey guess what if you don't follow me on instagram you can it's free so this is some glimmer paper that's orchid oasis like such a beautiful color and we're going to make a butterfly out of it along with some of the vellum and again we need the mini the mini's going to help us out tonight and what i used for if you're wondering like where those dyes come from this is a die set that, again, is, I would say, could be a real standard. It's called the Fabulous Frames. Look at that. So this one is this picture frame, but it's not just a square. It is, it has all sorts of little textural pieces on it. See that? Like a very fancy frame. And then I cut out the middle, this one. And you get, you know, you get two pieces with both frames. You get a really nice, clean rectangle that comes out. And then you get, in this case, you get this fancy frame with some embossing on the end. And then, of course, you have photo corners and a really nice little oval, oval for sentiments. So annual catalog, fabulous frames. It's beautiful. And all of this, all these things I'm showing you, you can be earning celebration rewards on it. So 
may as well get them in February. Because in March, they're still going to be available. They're still going to be great. But you're not going to earn celebration rewards on them. So it would be so sad for you. It would be so sad for you. Okay. Now, this is all mint macaron. And still, I have that mint macaron gingham paper, right? And the frame. One thing I'm going to do right away is I'm just going to glue this down. Things that I know aren't going to have other components to them or stamping. Sometimes I like to just glue them down and get them out of my way. This guy is going to be centered. Okay. And then let's see. This guy is going to be right here. See? And I've used this gingham because it has a really nice defined straight line. So it's going to help me lay this frame down straight. Because the other frame is going to be on the diagonal. Kenny Wampus, I believe, is the technical scientific term. And so I want this one to be straight. It's really going to be a fun combination. Okay, so again, when you cut this, you get two pieces, you get a really nice rectangle that I had it in here, and then you get the frame. And let me try to show you now that it's up on another piece of paper. There we go. Can you see all of that embossing that's in it, as well as a really nice super cut? It's got like a stitched and two solid lines, a little bit of a bevel, very detailed. Okay, and then this one is going to go like this. And this is going to be put up on um, dimensionals. But I'm going to include some of the coordinating uh, metallic. Is this ribbon? It's very little. It's a quarter inch. Metallic woven ribbon. Yes. Oh, I haven't played with this for a while, but again, I got it out for the Insta Hop, and then I was suddenly like smitten again. I was like, how have I stopped using this? I can't believe it. And I'm going to stamp on this in Orchid Oasis all the love. Let me grab the Stamparatus because it's kind of a large stamp. And so I want to make sure to get a good impression. So if I have to, I will stamp it twice. And I can do that in exactly the same spot if I'm using the Stamparatus. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Yes, you are, because you all love, because you all love the Stamparatus. Now, Andrea is asking me, do I get a headache from the glue? I do not. And you know what, Andrea, I am really like, I lived a life of migraines before I moved on to other chronic things. So I really don't. Yeah. I'm sorry you do though. Don't use it then. Okay. So this is going to be on the angle, but I don't want my words on an angle. Okay. So I'm going to put it in there almost like it's going to be on the card. I'm going to put it down with a magnet and then I'm going to get my all the love stamp. Oh, look at these. These stamps are so cool. They're bold. They're brash. They are really fun. If you like bright, bold colors and stuff, then stick with me. You'll love this. And then I'm going to put the sentiment like that. Okay. I think that looks good. Oh, yeah going to stick a little bit when I pick it up here, but there we go. All right. And then Orchid Oasis. I'm going to take the Orchid Oasis to the stamp. As I said, this is a big, bold photopolymer stamp. Oh, goodness. I'll tell you what really works a lot. First, I thought it might be gimmicky, but it's not. It's these little pressure tools. I got this one off of Etsy and I really liked it. See, I think I could do more because it's on mint macaron, but um, the image is great. So let's just do some more because we can. And there we go. That looks good. 
Jean says her son takes the dogs for the and yeah, you can't, you cannot mention it. Like they, and then I always tell them they're addicted, especially Cash. He gets so wound up. And then he wants to chase Tango and Tango's kind of like, just get in the car. Don't sidetrack me. Just move it, get in the car. It's very funny that way. But it, Tango's also the one that thinks it's really helpful if he runs around me in circles while I'm going down the stairs to get in the C-A-R because like that, nothing bad's going to happen there, right? Like I can hardly walk on paved ground, straight ground. But, you know, he's my lovely child. Okay, let's do, right now, um, there's tons of stamping you can do with this. So many, I've done um, at least two videos with the butterflies. So you can go back and find those. But we are just going to make our butterflies with the dyes tonight. Guess what? All this stuff's available. So if you didn't get the butterflies and now you're thinking like, why didn't I get the butterflies? I love them. The butterflies are available. You can get them tonight. Okay. Let's put this in the min min. The min pin. I think I should call it that. And I'm just going to use these bits and pieces for um, wings. And these butterflies end up looking pretty funky. So there's an outside cut that you could stamp and then you could just die cut it. And then, but this way I'm using, I'm going to make the whole, um, all the wing complete with the dies. So I don't have to use the stamps on everything. So I'm running it away from me and then I'm running back. The mini is so handy. First of all, it's a little bit easier on your hands, but it's still, it runs really smoothly. I suggest using the number three plate base plate. If you're having trouble with the number one plate, because even Melody Hyde was talking about it the other day when she went live, uh, she said that all of the machines have a pretty tight tolerance, which means they don't vary a ton, but they vary a little bit. And so if you have a certain machine that has less of a tolerance than another one, then your number three plate might work better. Okay. You don't need to know all that. You just need to know that you can switch out. I'm talking about this plate. You can switch out the number three for the one that's marked number one, and you can still do just fine with that. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of vellum. Our vellum is fantastic, runs through the die cutting machines just fine because it's cardstock weight. It's not flimsy weight. It's not from Robbie Sabi. You know what I'm talking about? Robbie Sabi rhymes with Robbie Sabi. It's not from there. Not from Cheap City USA. So it works so well. Thank you so much for sharing the video, Laura. And um, if any of you are watching and coming in in the middle, if you would be so kind as to share, this is a good one because we are sharing cards made with love. Okay? To share love. And yes, you could use it for Valentine's Day. Oops, this one needs to go through again. You could use it for Valentine's Day, but love never goes out of style. Let's see if I can get it again on this one. If I can't, I'll just recut it. I had some of my cardstock still stuck in there, and I don't think it was making a very clean connection. There we go. Okay. So I want one of the um, layers to be vellum. Just kind of remind us of someone taking flight. And then I'm going to make a top layer. I'm going to use these. They all kind of mix, they mix and match. Okay. And these butterflies are kind of goofy. So don't worry if it looks goofy at first. The, the linchpin of making your butterfly look like a butterfly is to put one of the straight bodies on it. That's it. All you need to do, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Let's see now. 
Okay. So again, all those little pieces and parts, I'm gonna throw them around. Let's see, I'm gonna run this through again. This glimmer paper after all, I want them to just like pop out super easy. So when I'm redoing this, I can kind of feel the indentations. Oh, there we go. It really slides down into place of where the indentations are. So even though it's full of indentations, we should get a pretty clean die cut. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yay, I love butterflies. Especially these magical made up ones. Okay, and then I want the body. Okay, so by the body, I mean this guy. And I'm just gonna cut the body out of a scrap, if I can find one, of knit macaron. Okay, if I have to cut a whole new piece of knit macaron for this, I'm gonna be really irritated. I could use Orchid Oasis too, but I feel like maybe it should have a little knit macaron. Oh, for Pete's sake, I don't think I have any. That's okay, I'll have some after this. Let's see here. Okay, I have a half a sheet. That works. So are you all enjoying this? How many of you have the best butterflies and have you had it out lately? Um, you know, we're all kind of like creatures of, who like things that are new. And so of course we wanna look at the new things. And this is not old by any stretch of the imagination because it came out in the last annual catalog. So nothing's old, but um, I just like to, I like to revise them and use them for different, um, for different events that I have. And also I think it's fun to put something that hasn't been seen for a while into in this particular instance, a blog hop, an Insta hop tomorrow, uh, just as a reminder to people like, hey, get that out or buy it, it's still available. Okay, so as you can see, lots of cool dyes, pieces and parts of butterflies, two just whole butterflies, these little flowers, but they're everything's whimsy in this set. If you like whimsy, that's the set for you, okay? Now, down here. I don't remember if I'm going to use it again on the last card or not. I don't know if I'm going to go live. You'll have to tell me once we, once we wrap up with this card, you'll have to tell me if you want me to go finish the third card. I knew a third card would kind of be a push, but let's get this finished first and we'll see what time we have. Okay. All right. Now, I want this because I'm going to start gluing. Things are going to get glued up in here. And I want this and I want all my pieces and parts. Okay. I like to get everything gathered back up. <laughs> Lori loves the butterflies and she has it. Yes. I, I love them too. Yeah. Corinne says the pieces would make a flower. Absolutely they would. So again, this is going to be put up on dimensionals, okay? And then I'm wondering though, I think what might be cute is if I tied my bow right there. So let's see, I want something, I want the block to hold this, because now I have this little flimsy die cut, right? But I want to tie a bow around the outside of it. And I don't want it to move around when I'm doing it. So I just put the block down on it. It's like a third hand, like so many things are. We can use a tool. We can find so many tools to make a third hand out here. Okay, there's a fourth hand. Woo! Who needs a helper? Okay, I am, I am, uh, pulling from the roll, so I'm not cutting my ribbon first because I don't know how much I want. Let's just see. Let me play with it for a minute here. 
I'm not going to pull it so tight because I could um, tear that paper. But when I get the final card here, then I'll pull it tight. Okay. I think that's going to be just fine. So again, this is Orchid Oasis Metallic Woven Ribbon. This comes in five different colors, all of the in colors, um, 22, 24 in colors, okay? And then it's this thing's going to be all over the place, but I'm going to glue it down because that's how clever I am. Final, let's see here. Final thing with this. Maybe I should just put this in here at the same time. And then I can glue after. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's get the middle situated because remember we have that sentiment and we don't want it to be, we want to be able to read it straight on. Okay, so dimensionals on this. Okay. Dimensional backs all over the place. And then I'm just going to leave that loose. Bring this in here. This ribbon is like all over the place, but that's okay. That's all right. I don't want to trim it yet. I don't know if I want it done. And then I'm going to bring this in until the words are straight. And then I'm just going to put the words down now. I need to snake that out of there. Okay. Where's the glue again? Gives Andrea a headache. Don't use it, Andrea. You can use a salt. You can use the adhesive sheets on something this thin if you want. You can also use the ultra fine glue pen. I'm just able to work this. I didn't want to get out the ultra fine glue pen right now, but the ultra fine glue pen is great. Okay. All right. Do you love the fabulous frames? Are you feeling like you may need to add those to your stash? I think you do. Okay, now this is going to be put down, right? Flat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right around that. Okay. And then our butterfly. It's just going to be put together with glue dots. So let's put a glue dot. In the thick part right there of the wings and they love to attach onto my nails so make sure that's not going crazy then I attach this slightly askew because I want to be able to see the glimmer paper through it okay and then let's Look at this guy, he's fun. So this is how it would be if you just laid this down, right? It doesn't look quite right, something's wrong. And what's wrong with it is it doesn't have a body. <laughs> so we're gonna put this on top and then it's gonna look great. In fact, I think I'm gonna color that, the body with some Link of Stella, because why not? Yes. Hello, Mary Lou. Somebody's saying hi to you. Sherry's saying hi to you, Mary Lou. Hello. Okay, so just coat this with your Wink of Stella glitter pen. What? You don't have a Wink of Stella glitter pen? Not possible. If you don't have two, you should be worried. Because what if you run out late night crafting session? Okay. So glue dots the whole way. This stuff is too delicate and we're putting it up on different layers now, right? So just glue dot this. I'm going to glue dot the body so that I can read the all the love. That's really my only guideline. Okay. And then the top is going to go on there. Then it makes the rest of it just go together pretty easy. Again, one glue dot just right here in the center part of the butterfly. And, 
Oh, so gorgeous. And finally this, I think I want to put some glue dots on the body too because I'm attaching to glimmer paper and vellum. So we're just going to play it safe. It's going to look nice and clean. And then one more right up here. Okay. And then this. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. I'm going to trim this one down a little bit because I can't read my sentiment. Look at that. Orchid Oasis and Mint Macron. I didn't know if those colors would work. I think they work great. And again, finally, we need some jewels. We need some jewelry. We want some iridescent. Eh, those kind of pull pink. They look a little pink. I don't want to introduce a new color. So uh, let's see, though. We could use the opal rounds because those are just iridescent. Of course, we can also use the in color dots. You know what? Let's do that because I think that that color, I want to bring that color in a little bit more. This is not like a normal color combination that I would have done before. So I look at this mess. I had these. I was cutting them for kits. I was cutting them apart for kits. It happens. But I know my colors. So I am going to do like one up here. And these are ombre, right? So you have all different shades of the same color. And then let's take a tiny one because it's so adorable. Oh my gosh. That's a good looking card. If I do say so myself. It's so cute. What do you think about that? Now I will put an insert in it. Stuff. So we don't have time for that. I want to show you a couple of things. And then um, we will have to do the other card probably another night. But that's all right. Because as I said, we are making cards for Valentine's Day. But love never goes out of style. Right? So let's see here. Where's my other card? Oh, the Nomi. If you came in late, we made the Nomi and then we made this All the Love Best Butterflies card. Those are pretty cool. Okay, let's see here. Let's me bring in. Uh, got some slides for you. So, oh, it was sitting there right there. Okay. So in case you would like to add these to a starter kit or just to an order, you can pop on over to the stampingzoo.com and you can hit the join the zoo or you can hit the shop now tab. Both work. Both work and both are super easy. Here's the friendly gnomes stamp set. Here's the item number. You can take a screenshot of this and it's only $24. Okay. And then here's the best butterflies. This bundle is $47.50. You will thank you, Corinne. You will need a die cutting machine, just like I was showing you. But I believe all of these elements go into the mini. So don't worry about that. And it's such a fun stamp set. And you can tell it's $47.50. So if you order that and then a package of glue dots or dimensionals, then you get something free from the celebration items. Okay. And then we were going to work with the love cats and we'll still work with the love cats because I have some materials cut for it. Okay. So don't worry. We're going to work with the love cats, $21 for the stamp set. And then look how cool they are. They're like, um, what are those cats called that just lay around ragdoll kitties? They're like ragdoll kitties. <laughs> and then I really don't want you to forget about this. It's kind of a deal. The wreath of blooms kit. I put it together for you a few days ago. Uh, you can look that video up on replay if you'd like to. Uh, I tell you, I I make it for you from start to finish, and tell you my thoughts about whether it's all that. And it is all that. I'll just that's a spoiler. And so there's the item number for that. Again, only thirteen dollars, and it comes in a cute little box. And I realized that after you finish it, if you want to keep it for a gift on hand. 
You just put it right back in the box. Okay. And then this is my team, the zoo crew. And I just want to remind you again, it's a great time to become a discount shopper and get your starter kit by the end of February, because you can take two different choices this time. You can purchase a mini machine plus $175 of product of your choice. Nobody else is choosing it for you. It's anything that's current. You can choose $175 plus the mini machine for $129. And if you already have a die cutting machine and you don't want another one for a gift or something, um, then you can still have that great deal of $175 of product for only $99 plus tax, free shipping. Okay. Please don't forget. And there's the other option of the mini. This is called Boho Blue. So hope you like that. And then finally, lots of you have taken me up on, on this invitation to my special VIP celebration celebration. It is a class and a party in one. And how you earn your invitation is you simply order $150 worth of product from me between January and February. There's still plenty of time. It doesn't have to be all on one order. It can be several orders, but they, the orders of product have to total $150 and then you're being invited to the party. It can be either live or in person. It is set. The in-person party is set for March 11th. Uh, and basically you get this adorable owls stamp set from me. So if you don't have to use that as one of your celebration choices because I have a stamp set for you and we are going to create our cards with that, have some games, have some snacks and just have a good time with our paper crafting. Okay. So again, there's plenty of time for all those offers. And, um, so I hope you take me up on some of those. All right, let's jump over and do our drawing. Thank you, Corinne, for giving me the heads up. Uh, I would like to Let's see. I need to share my screen. My, these words a little. Okay. So let me bring that up. And here we go. We are going to click to spin. And this is from my last, I don't remember. It was like five or six days ago. It wasn't a full week ago. And so who is going to win a stamp set tonight? Let me roll back here and get it. Move on. Move on the stamp set. Right, Anne. I will also say Mary Ellen Ryan. Um, she shared as well, but she won last week, and so she's not in the drawing. Um, so Anne won, and you have won. Let me show you on the desk. This really cool sweetest cherries stamp set. No. It doesn't work that way. I hate it when it does that. But anyway, um, this is cool. It also has a punch that goes with it should you choose to get that. But again, it works just fine. It's very cool. And Anne's been making so many cool cards. Uh, she just made a pomegranate card today that she showed me that I think, I think the layout would work just great with the cherries. And so I'll have this for you. And um, everyone else, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that more than you know, it helps me grow the stamping zoo and we do it slowly and surely each and every week. Right. So, uh, just appreciate that. And like I said, then you're always in the drawing for the following week. I need to add some more things to the treasure chest, but in the meantime, don't forget, we've made these really adorable cards with products you can purchase now. And uh, mint, we found out mint macaron and orchid oasis is kind of a cool combination. So thank you so much, everyone. Looking forward to seeing you next week. And have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Okay. And I will see you all really soon. Thank you so much.